Hey, what's up, WordPress for Church family? It's Andrew here at WP4.Church. Uh, in this tutorial, we are uh, starting kind of a, a little bit of a series on how to use Sermon Manager with Beaver Builder only and how to use Sermon Manager with Beaver Builder and Beaver Themer. Uh, in this one, we're going to look at how to customize um, the sermon layout kind of grid uh, where it shows all your sermons on the page and we're we're going to be using the uh, the Beaver Builder post module and so we're on uh, one of my essential sites for the river we're gonna jump over to the messages page man I have the sniffles so it's probably not professional for me to be like wiping my nose every little bit but um yeah my bad um so here on our messages page uh, I'll just explain the layout really quick and then we're going to jump in. So here at the top, this is just another post module that um, that it's made up of a few different uh, post modules here. Uh, and then this one right here, just view the message, is a post module with only the call to action displaying. Um, here down here you have our three messages. Even though it has our latest message up here, you could just go to the post module and offset this by one. So your latest is displayed up here and then all the rest are below it. I don't have it set up that way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. We're going to click on page builder. I'm in the messages archive. Um, so technically this is, this, this page is using themer, but you can do this with the, the grid module here, however you want to. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through how I have this one set up and then we're going to make another one below it here. Uh, just from from scratch um, and a lot of the the snippets I use uh, will be in the blog post once that's up and uh, of course I'll have a link to uh, the tools that we're using and um, So in this one, we're going to be using pretty much sermon manager and and beaver builder And so I'll link out to uh, WordPress for church WP for church dot com the guys that make sermon manager and you can uh, check it out there Side note, uh, they have a pro version coming out real soon. Uh, it's going to be really cool to, to jump in and play around with that. I recommend um, you looking into that if it hasn't come out already by the time you watch this video. If it has come out, just buy it, you know. Um, so we're on post module right here. A few caveats to begin with. In this in this one, I'm not using any add-ons. I'm not using, if you're familiar with the Beaver Builder uh, universe, I'm not using Power Pack add-ons. I'm not using Ultimate add-ons, Beaver Builder, and, and I'll explain why right here. Um, I have custom post layout. If you're in the post module, you can select custom or default. And I'm just going to open up uh, the custom post layout. It's just all it is is a little bit of HTML with some Beaver Builder shortcode magic and then a little CSS sheet for you to style the um, the HTML for this, this the post. The reason I really like using Beaver Builder's post module over the add-ons is this right here. If I type something in right here, it shows up automatically, right? If you're using the add-ons, um, it, it doesn't do that. You have to type, you have to change your code, and then you have to come in here and click save for it to, for it to populate, which is really annoying when you're writing this. Like You want to see part of the beauty of Beaver Builder is being able to see it as you're doing it. So I hope they make those changes soon. Um, I do like Power Packs. Um, Power Pack has a module called Custom uh, Content Grid, something along those lines, and they have preset uh, displays for um, for posts. And so you can select one of those presets and then still go in and tweak that code, which is really neat because you can get some of the look that you're trying to go for uh, quicker and easier using their presets and just going in and replacing their post stuff with uh, your your sermon needs, like we're going to do here in a minute. And so um, if you're a power user, you can fast forward through this to where we, we build our own. Um, uh, but I'm going to take a few moments and explain what's going on here. Like, why does this translate to this over here? Uh, because a lot of you are probably like me when I got going. And I don't understand how this can look like all this over here. So the first thing is we have the, um, the sermon uh, image right here, right? Like a fire. And so... That is populated through this highlighted area right here. This right here is uh, just a, a, a WordPress, or, or sorry, a Beaver Builder conditional shortcode. So it says, it's basically saying, if this sermon has a featured image, then make sure that you put it here. So this WPBB-if, that's, that's the if statement. And it's finished down here where it says, where the slash WPBB-if. So that's this conditional shortcode, and in the middle of it, it's saying if there's a featured image, 
show the featured image. And this is populated just with a short code, and we'll look at how to do that in a little bit. Uh, next, we have all the rest of it. So the fire needs fuel, the lack of fire series, and this uh, icon right here. That's all right here. That's all right here. So you have the post text, which is all the text. You have the post title, which is fire needs fuel. It is displayed through this uh, little short code right here. Post, link, text, title. And then you have the meta, which uh, usually is like author, day, categories, etc. I got rid of all that, and I'm just showing this um, this little font awesome. Font awesome. Ugh, I'm going to sound like a bad word. Um, I'm showing this font awesome uh, icon and uh, the series name, and I'm going to show you how to do that here in a minute. And then, so that's the HTML side. If you click over to CSS, you can use uh, the classes here to change the display over here on, on how it looks. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with, uh, with that, so FL post title is the post title's class name. And so I, you have FL post title over here, and that changes how it looks over here. So I just changed it from like 24 to 2, and you see now it's now it's gone, right? So we're going to change that back to 24. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this. Save. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of start from scratch, okay? Um, and so I'm going to come up here to the Beat Builder. Um, man, I thought there were posts were right here in basic, but it's not, huh? So I'm going to search for post. And I'm going to throw it down here in the new row. And when it comes up, it just has blog posts. And I'll, the only blog post I have on this page is or this site is the, uh, the Hello World. Welcome to WordPress. And so we're going to start here on the layout and change a few things. And then we're going to go to content. Um, so the only thing we really need to change, since we're using the custom post layout here, the only thing we really need to change is I want it to be equal heights and I want the spacing to be like 40, right? Uh, you can you can play around with post width to be whatever you want it to as well. Um, yep. Content, uh, we want this to be sermons. I'm going to order it by date. Um, yep, 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 yep. That's all here. I don't, I'm not worried about pagination right now. I think I do need to change this back to, or I need to change it to columns. Sorry. So, uh, so that on desktop I can just display two columns. And I'm going to go ahead and save that so we can just see what it looks like just out the box, right? So out the box, this is what it shows. It shows the, uh, the featured image, the title, ti um, the author of the post, the date, and uh, some of the content, and then a read more button. So we're going to jump back in. And we're going to go to edit post custom post layout. And you can see the same thing here. You have this conditional code, which shows the, uh, the image. You have the post title. You have the post meta right here, which is the author name and the date. And then below that, you have the excerpt, post excerpt, which is all this black text. And then you have a post more link, or, or a, a, a more link is like read more, right? And so we're going to start from uh, right here around the post title, and we're going to work our way down. The first thing I want to do is I want to tweak the post title a little bit. So I'm going to go in and find this class, FL post title. I'm going to change it to 24. And uh, I like letter spacing, so I'm going to change the letter spacing to like to 10 pixels. So now we change the letter spacing, and now I want to go back to HTML. And now I want to play around with the, um, the author name. I want to change that to the, uh, the speaker's name for this. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to highlight the author name here. And uh, you don't have to remember, like, you don't have to know how to add these short codes. Beaver Builder's post module has it built in. So I click on this little plus thing over here. I scroll down to where it says post terms list, and I click insert. And I want to display a taxonomy. Um, and so the the preacher is, is a taxonomy for a sermon. And so I'm just going to select preachers. I'm going to get rid of that separator because there should only be one. 
and I don't want it to link out, so I'm going to click no here, and I'm going to save. And this should change to uh, John Watson. So, John Watson. I'm going to take away by because I don't like that. All right. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to change this date, and I just wanted to make the date into the series name. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to click on this plus icon, scroll down to post terms, and insert, and we should be able to select series as the taxonomy. Get rid of that again. I am going to leave this linked. Basically, if you leave it linked, it links uh, to that series page. So people can click on that series, see all the sermons in that series, and I'm going to click save. And it should throw like a fire here where it says March 4th. Boom. Uh, next, I... um. I like using little Font Awesome icons like that list. And so we're going to go snag some from Font Awesome. First, uh, I already have Font Awesome pulled up, fontawesome.com. Um, Font Awesome 5 works with Beaver Builder now, so it makes it even easier. I just copy this little list um, icon here from right here. And I'm going to throw it just right here beside it. And it should put like a little... Um, Oh, I put that in the wrong place, didn't I? It needs to go by the series, not the not the preacher. Okay. Sweet. So next, um, I want to put another icon by James Watson. I want to put like a like a microphone. There should be like a old school looking microphone. Let me find it. Boom, there it is. I say old school, it's just a microphone with dashes in it, but it reminds me of like Oh, brother, where art thou? So let me copy that. Um, here is the preacher. So I'm going to paste in this uh, little little microphone right there, and it should show up right there. Next, I want to uh, change the size of all the post meta here. And so we're going to go to CSS. We're going to find post meta. And we're going to say font size. Just make sure I'm targeting it right. I'm going to put 18 to begin with and see if it changes. Yeah, so that's right. And I'm going to bring it down to like 14. Sweet. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is, you can see that it's like the spacing here is, is really weird. So we're going to add some um, a few other things here. First thing we're going to do is, I'm going to copy this taxonomy. I'm going to make it into a class. So we're going to add some spans here. Span class equals what I just copied. I like having dashes there instead. I got to close out the bracket. Beaver Builder automatically closes out the spans. And so I like, you just got to copy that and delete it and then move it to the end. Hard thing about working with short codes is they're so long. I don't know why they call them short codes, right? Um, well, I do, but you know, bad joke, I guess. So let me close out that span there. And what we should be able to do now is copy this WPFC Preacher class and tweak it a little bit over here. And so I'm going to make a little space here so we can see what we're doing. Tweaking meta stuff, right? So that's first. And we're just going to, I hate not being able to see. So we're just going to add some padding. Padding left. Five pixels. Close that. And this should put a little padding in between the microphone and James Watson. Ooh, that didn't work right. Here's why. Yeah. Had a little tag down there at the end. And you see, like I changed it from front to 15 and there's a lot of space there. I just want to make sure it works. We change it back to five and it should close the gap a little bit. Yeah, so that's that works for that. 
Uh, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and write um, series, and I'm going to do the same thing so it creates a little separation between the series icon. And uh, it won't do it right away because we haven't added this class, right? So I'm going to copy this. This right here is my series shortcode, and so I'm going to paste that in, change preacher to series. And then I just have to close the, you can see over here, like it's, it won't let me, right? So I need to close that span and that X should go away. And this should put some separation here. Yep. Last thing I want to do is um, now that we have those icons, I don't really need this, uh, like that separator there. And so I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. That should get rid of that up and down bar. And now it's 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 kind of close together, and so I'm going to go back to Preacher. I'm going to add some padding on the right. I'm just 15 pixels. That should move it far enough away to where it's clear that it's it's separated. Um, and just because I want to make this a little bit bigger now. Boom. So we have taken care of the um, this right here. We have taken care of some of the meta. Um, next, I want to I want to get rid of the the post more or not the post more the post excerpt. Uh, I just don't think it's necessary for like a something like this. So I'm gonna delete it all. Should get rid of all that. And lastly, we're gonna take a few moments and we're gonna play around with um with the uh, the post more link. I'm not gonna do much with it. Or no, watch, <laughs> learn more. But I watch now. How's that? Watch now. And so this is post more link. I am going to. Is that styled anywhere in here? I don't see it. So we're going to just copy this uh, class. And um, then we're going to drop it below the. Meta font size to like 14. And that should change that right away. Maybe it's already 14. Ooh. Yep, so it was already 14. Now it's um now it's 16. One thing we could do here, I think, is uh You could probably go back into um, Font Awesome and grab like a like an icon or an icon. They're all icons. Genius arrow. Like something like this and throw it in front of the, the watch now. Uh, I'm just going to leave this as it is, right? And I'm going to click save. Save again. And so now you have um, now you have a little custom post grid that you you made with Beaver Builders Post Module uh, connected to Sermon Manager. And if I click done, I'm gonna publish it. All this works. It should take me to um, to this message. Boom, right there. Thank you guys for watching this uh, WordPress for Church tutorial on using Beaver Builder and Sermon Manager to create a, uh, a post grid for your sermons. I'd love if you uh, smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more tutorials and tuts for WordPress tutorials and tuts. I gotta get better at this YouTube thing, man. Stay tuned for more tuts and resources for Word WordPress churches. <laughs> wow.